Hi there everyone, I'm Talha and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Python with Google Sheets. Using Python you can automate many difficult or challenging tasks in Google Sheets into very simple and easily usable commands. Python allows you to add scripts that specify different tasks to be carried out. For example, you can use a Python script to transfer data between sheets up to 10 million cells within seconds. And you can use Python to create sheets and create visual representations of different data. So let's go ahead and see how you can connect your Python environment to your Google Sheets. First of all, you're going to go ahead and visit cloud.google.com and then head over to console. Once in the console homepage, you're going to create a new project. I already have a project created right here. So I'm going to proceed with this one. Once I'm in the project homepage, I'm going to go to APIs and services and click on enabled APIs and services. Once in this menu, I'm going to click on this button right here. And this is going to open the API library. Here I'm going to search for Google Drive. And then click on enable right here. I've already enabled it, so it says manage. Next, I'm going to search for sheets and enable the Google Sheets API. I've already enabled this as well, so it says manage right here. Next, to confirm, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the enable APIs and services menu. And scroll down right here I can see that the Google Drive and Google Sheets API's have been enabled once I have these API's enabled I'm going to go ahead and click on credentials in the credentials menu I'm going to create a new service account click on create credentials and select service account right here in the service account menu, I'm going to name my service account. I'm going to name this Python hyphen test. And then scroll down and click on create and continue. From here, I'm going to select an editor role and click on continue again. After I've clicked continue right here, it's going to ask for grant users access to this service account. This is an optional feature and I'm not going to specify this. I'm just going to click done. Now I can see right here that my service account has been created. I'm going to click on the service account and then head over to keys. From here, I'm going to add a key and click on create new key. And then select JSON as the key. And then it's going to download the file. I'll save the file right here for later. And then close this. Once I have created my service account and generated a JSON key for my service account, I'm going to open the CMD menu right here. From the command line, I'm going to create a new project called Python project and click on enter. 
Then I'm going to navigate to my Python project by running cd python project and I'm in my Python project. So next I'm going to create a Python environment. For that I'm going to run the command python hyphen m v e n v e n v it's going to load for a while and then the environment will be created run cd e n v to see if the environment is created and it was successfully created next i'm going to open the environment using a code editor in this case i'm going to use visual studio code once in visual studio code i'm going to go ahead and open the folder that contains our python project and in this python project i'm going to create a requirement.txt file by clicking here new file and then naming it requirement.txt and then pasting the following libraries into the requirement.txt file once i've added the required libraries here i'm going to go ahead and open cmd and navigate to our env directory now once i'm in the env directory i'm going to first activate our environment for that, I'm going to run cd scripts and then activate .pat. Once the environment has been activated, I'm going to run cd backslash and then run our environment directory again. Now, once in the environment directory, I'm going to run pip install hyphen r and then the name of the file with the libraries. In this case, it is requirement.txt. Press enter and the libraries have been installed. Once we've installed our libraries, we need to add two more important files to our python project the first is going to be the credentials.json file and we can follow the same steps create click on new file and name it credentials.json and in this file we're going to paste the content from the service account credentials that we downloaded from Google Cloud Console. Paste them right here and click on save. Now, once we've saved this, we're going to add another file called auth.py. I already have the script handy and I'm just going to paste it into the environment directory. This script is going to create the authorization for our project to access our Google Cloud Console. Once we have added both of these required files into our sheet, we can start adding the scripts that we can use to run different tasks in our Google Sheets. The first script that we're going to add is the Create Sheet script, which is going to help us create a new sheet in our Google Sheets and Google Drive account. So the script right here 
is a Python script that will create a sheet that we can name in the title object right here. Let's name it new sheet for video. And in these objects right here, what this sheet is doing is sharing the new sheet for video with this email address with writer access. Now, once we understand the script right here, we can save it and head back to our command line. In our command line, we have our environment running. All we have to do is enter the script name, which is create sheets dot py and press enter. And as you can see right here, this is the spreadsheet ID, which means the sheet has been created and shared with the email address. Now, let's go ahead and verify it in our Google Sheets account. And here it is. The new sheet for video has been added and shared with us on our Google account. Now we can start adding more scripts to our environment and then running them via Google Sheets. So let's try and add a different sheet this time. In this case, let's add this script right here that I already have handy. You can access these different scripts on our web website spreadsheetpoint.com and then use them for your Python project. The first script that I'm going to use is called update sheets.py and in this sheet I'm going to specify different data manually and then update my sheet via the command line. First of all I have to add the spreadsheet ID for our new sheet. It was also shared with me on my command line but I can copy it from here as well. Once I've copied this I'm going to paste it right here and here as well and then save this. For this one I'm going to specify the sheet range that I want to add this data into. In this case it is A1 to H1. Save this and then head over to the command line and run update sheets dot py and as you can see it says eight cells updated and once we enter our sheet right here we can see that python has added the following rows to our sheet called new sheet for video now let's try something else this time For the next script, we're going to be using this contact sheet right here and copying all of these cells over a hundred cells and transferring all of this data into our new sheet for video. For that, I'm going to use the transfer.py script, which is available to me right here. I'm going to copy it and paste it into my environment. You can access this script on our website spreadsheetpoint.com as well. And I'm going to replace the read range spreadsheet ID with the spreadsheet ID of my contact sheet. Copy it from here and then paste it 
into this section right here next I'm going to copy the spreadsheet ID of the new sheet for video and then paste it into the right range right here save this and verify everything else now let's run transfer.py in our command line and press enter and there we have it it has updated 800 cells let's go ahead and look at the differences in our new sheet for video and as you can see all of the data from the contact sheet has been transferred to our new sheet for video and that's it that's how you can use python with google sheets it offers a very seamless and fast experience and you can use many other scripts and visualizations to simplify and automate a lot of the much more challenging tasks in Google Sheet. I hope this video was useful to you. Please leave a like and subscribe.